Hi there, your online GCSE math tutors, and in today's video, we are going to present solving simultaneous equations by substitution. We had previously presented a video in which we explained how to solve simultaneous equations by elimination. The link of that video appears now on the screen, and you can easily refer to it if you would like to know more about that method. Now let's turn to our current problem. The question says 2x plus 4y equals 24 and 4x plus 3y equals 22. Now we have two equations, each with two unknowns, x and y. We would like to convert this into a single equation with one unknown by substituting one of these unknowns. Now how do we do that? First we take that first equation 2x plus 4y equals 24 and we subtract 4 from both sides of the equation this leaves us with 2x equals 24 minus 4y. Then we divide both sides of the equation by 2 and this leaves us with x equals 24 minus 4y all divided by 2. We turn now to the second equation 4x plus 3y equals 22 and we substitute x with that expression that we have just found. Now if we do this we will have 4 multiplied by the bracket. 24 minus 4y all over 2 to substitute for x plus 3y equals 22. Now if you simplify and open the bracket you will end up with 48 minus 8y plus 3y equals 22. Negative 8y plus 3y is simply negative 5y and if we subtract 48 from both sides of the equation we'll be left with minus 5y equals 22 minus 48 and therefore y equals 26 over 5 which is equal to 5.2. Now we simply substitute this value back into that expression and this gives us x equals 24 minus 4 multiplied by, now instead of y we put 5.2 which is the value of y, all divided by 2. If you work this out you'll find that x equals 1.6. So the answer for this set of simultaneous equations is is x equals 1.6 and y equals 5.2. If you want to make sure that the answer is correct, you can simply substitute these values of x and y back into each of those two equations and you will find that they confirm our answer. Now, if you still have questions, please leave them in the comments section below. If you were able to substitute the values of x and y into these equations and you got the expected answer, do let me know in the comments. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Meanwhile I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye for now.